October 1993. Um, I believe I was working um, as a roofer at this point. Although, getting close to the end of the season, so I'm going to be laid off soon. Or maybe was laid off by this point. Because I actually read more than just a few books in October of 1993. So let's jump right in and see what I read. Well, we start very simply. First book of October 1993, Shane by Jack Schaefer. Of course, this is the classic Western about a stranger that comes into town. But friends-ish, a young boy, and uh, keeps the bad... I, I can't remember if he's a, like a land baron or uh, the bad guys. I assume it's some rich guy trying to take over the town. Shane comes in and defends it. Uh, really good book. I enjoyed it quite a bit, more so than the movie, mainly because the kid in the movie just got on my nerves. But classic story of, you know, good guys versus bad guys. Um, wouldn't have been surprising at all if the main character, you know, didn't have a, even have a name. Uh, but Shane works, you know, but it's that kind of classic uh, stranger comes into town and saves the day kind of story. And it's really well written. It's good. Next up, The Death and Life of Superman by Roger Stern. This is a novelization of the huge headline-making Death of Superman story. Uh, but it covers his death, the four heroes that rise up to take his place, which were Superboy, Steel, Supergirl, and Eradicator? Cyborg Superman? I don't remember exactly. Um, and then the the return of Superman. And uh, it's, it's a good-sized book, and it covers a lot of material. There were... I believe four ongoing Superman titles at the time. Uh, so you had, that's each, like Steel took over one, Supergirl took over one, Superboy took over one. I can't remember if it was Cyborg Superman or the Eradicator. Who the fourth one was. But, uh, yeah, so they each took over one of Superman's titles for a while until Superman came back. But it's, it's not bad. It's a decent comic book adaptation. Then, the only book I actually have in my collection right now, Dead in the West by Joe R. Lansdale. This is a UK version. It even has the price in pounds. Um, I used to have a different version of it, but uh, that disappeared. And I found this at Half Price Books. And I actually have... A trade paperback that I believe has this and some related stories. Uh, but this is a zombie western with, you know what, I'm going to have to look up his name. It's Jedediah something. Jedediah Mercer, who I believe is in the other stories in that other book. Uh, but this town does something bad. At least a bunch of people in the town do something bad. There's a curse. Zombies show up. And the preacher, Jedediah Mercer, comes to fight them. <coughs> Excuse me. And there are complications. It's Joe Lansdale. You know it's fantastic. And I think readily available nowadays. Then we have The Gunfight by Richard Matheson. The classic sci-fi horror author Richard Matheson. One of the best authors of all time, uh, contributor to the Twilight Zone, great short stories, so many classic novels that have been made into movies, and he got into writing westerns towards the end-ish of his career. The Gunfight uh, is about gossip, essentially. Uh, takes place, I thought it was all over 24 hours, but according to something I just read online when I looked this up, it was three days. But basically, uh, you've got this uh, old gunfighter. I can't remember if he was a lawman. I think so. A sheriff. But he, uh, after 
shooting someone in a bank robbery uh, that was really young. He decided to retire, become a rancher, but everybody in this town sort of admires him as a hero. And this young girl wants to make her boyfriend jealous, so she starts telling people, or tells her boyfriend anyway, that uh, this old gunfighter has been harassing her. And it just sets off a chain of events, and the, the, the gossip starts spreading all over town, and basically the, the, old, the old gunfighter is forced into a gunfight. Uh, the fiance and the fiance's father really is just pushing and pushing. You can't let that guy, you know, do this. You can't let him do that. And so it's basically, again, I thought it was 24 hours, but apparently it's three days of from the challenge to the gunfight. What's going on in town, the preparations that are being made. The It's, it's fantastic. It's amazing. Typical Richard Matheson storytelling. Really, really good. Then we have Batman, the Shadow or Batman Shadows of the Past by Geary Gravel. Uh, and I suppose I probably could have written down Batman the Animated Series, Shadows of the Past. This is an original novel, I think. I think it's original. Based on Batman the Animated Series, takes place in that world. And it's uh, I think uh, basically an arsonist trying to burn down sections of the city so they can, you know, uh, rebuild fancier and new and make money. And Batman has to take, you know, take them on. And I assume from the title, because I haven't read it since back in the day, I assume from the title that somehow it's going to dredge up the past. Makes sense. Um, love Batman the Animated Series. One of the best depictions of Batman ever. And uh, so when these original novels started coming out, I had to pick them up. I wouldn't mind grabbing them again, but I haven't seen them anywhere. All right, only two more to go. And next up, the penultimate book for October 1993. And I do not have a copy of this, but it is available. Animals by John Skip and Craig Spector. Uh, there, there are new editions available. I would like to have an original mass market paperback copy. I remember I, it was a bright orange cover, I believe, orange or red, depending on how you see your colors. Uh, this is their werewolf novel, essentially. And, uh, you know, werewolves live among us, and our main character meets a woman who he doesn't know is involved in the werewolves. And he gets led down a dark and dangerous path. Uh, the thing is, as much as I love John Skip and Craig Spector and every other book that I've read by them, this one didn't thrill me when I originally read it back in October of 1993. I didn't feel that it was as good as their other stuff. But as we know, things can affect what you think about what you're reading, uh, your mood, uh all sorts of things can affect it. So it's definitely one that I want to reread and see if I see it differently uh, nowadays. But it's John Skip and Craig Spector. I need to have it. And I definitely need to reread it and see if it's, if it's better than I initially thought. Finally, for the last book of October 1993, Murder Straight Up by Edward Gorman. This is a Jack Dwyer mystery. Jack Dwyer was a is an ex-cop and a part-time actor, and in this book he's working as a security guard at uh, Channel 3, local Channel 3, and um, he has to solve a mystery because Anchorman, let me look, David Curtis has been poisoned. Uh, so, of course, Jack Dwyer is going to solve the crime. It's, it's a good mystery. It's Ed Gorman. Edward Gorman, great writer, and, uh, you know, if you, they're not quite private detective stories. They're not cozy mysteries. They're just uh, good, fun mystery stories. Yeah, I guess that covers it. Um, so that's it. That is what I read in uh, October of 1993. 
We got some westerns, some horror westerns, some comic book adaptations and original stuff. Uh, you know, looking over this list, I don't really have a question for this video. So we're going to let that slide. But if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on my channel. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. If you care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is ericsmith5757. And, yeah, that's all I've got. So, until next time, read more books.